Hello from Volunteers in Medicine here in Chattanooga. I'm Joel Henderson and I have the pleasure for today's conversation. Who am I here with? Brandy. So Brandy is our nurse lead uh, manager. She's been here about six months. Mm -hmm. um, and what I'm excited for folks who are watching this to better understand the type of patients that present um, for care at our clinic here. We take care of patients who do not have insurance, they're in between insurance, maybe their employers don't provide insurance or they can't afford to pay for insurance out of pocket. We take care of them on a primary care basis and we have more than 15 specialists that we can refer them to. Essentially, they don't skip a beat. They continue their primary care with our physicians or providers that are also volunteers and our nurses that help that are volunteers and we can refer them to those specialists. So they continue, we can uh, write prescriptions, we can do everything that their primary care doctor was able to do so that they can continue their quality of life like normal. Wow, so you've done a couple things, which maybe we can talk a little about. Um, I'll just start with, I heard about volunteers. So you work, so the volunteers, these are nurses? We have nurse volunteers, we have lab volunteers, we have an x-ray tech volunteer, we also have volunteers with the providers, nurse practitioners, physician's assistants, and primary care uh, doctors. We That's have amazing. Just their career has come, it's slowed, and they don't want to retire. They want to continue to offer those services because they love what they do. And the benefit is not one bill is sent to a patient ever. Everything, every service we offer is 100% free. So if people would like to, or seeing this to um, get more information or maybe want to volunteer their time and talents um, here at the clinic to help make a difference, what are some of the steps they might take to do that? You can call the clinic um, and ask to speak with Michelle, who's our volunteer coordinator, or myself, Brandy. Wonderful. They can also go, the, the, the VIM website is vim-chatt.org, has more information for volunteering or other ways to get involved with the organization. I heard you talk about prescriptions. Can I talk a little bit as well? So is it a prescription assistance program that we, we have? Okay. Yes, we do offer a pres prescription assistance program where it is a medication that might be expensive at the regular pharmacy, but the company, the pharmaceutical company, offers it to their patients for free. And so that gets delivered here or to the patient's home, um, but we can also give prescriptions if a patient prefers to go to their own pharmacy. Wonderful. Um, and not to throw too much at you, but um, now the patient also has an interest to learn more. There's an eligibility screening process. Can you talk a little, a little bit about that as well? There is. They can come in and get information. We can give them the application and just share some details for some information that they would need to submit, including proof of not having the insurance or being canceled by your insurance. It's really simple. Um, and once that process is finished, we can initiate their care. That's wonderful. Um, and so once again, that process, they can, I, I believe, get the information. We talk at the website online. They can call the clinic 423-855-8220 um, to get more information as well to set that up. But once again, thank you for taking the time. I know that you always like being not so much in front of the camera, but being in the room and to helping with our patients, our volunteers. But thank you for sharing from your heart um, and helping others understand more about what volunteer medicine does with our program and services. So thank you. Absolutely.